This video is brought to you in partnership with Next Level Racing, the leading brand in comfortable and affordable sim rigs. Stick around to find out more. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of League Races Insight, the show that is dedicated to helping you be the fastest that you can be. This week we go into the Assyrian Hills for the Austrian Grand Prix around the Red Bull Ring. The 10 turns that make up the 4.3km circuit make it one of the shortest laps on the calendar. The flowing nature of the track and the abundance of overtaking opportunities make it a favour for both drivers and fans alike. Let's have a look at the track. So here we are for a lap around the Red Bull ring ahead of round 11 of MRL season number 4, just after 100 metres for turn number 1, really attacking the apex as much as you can using the yellow curbing on the left hand side on the exit, and then up through the gears once again, DRS wide open as you make your way into one of the best overtaking spots on the entire track, turn number 3, opening up the corner as much as you can, but being sure to be careful on the throttle as you exit. Now on the power once more, up to the gears, 8th gear once again for the braking zone of turn number 4, all the way down into 3rd gear, short shifting up into 4th on the apex to minimise that wheel spin through the sweep of 5, and now the blind apex of turn number 6, 5th gear, up to 6 now, using all the curve that you can on the exit, and then turn number 7, just trying to get as much rotation as you can in the car, hug the car to the right hand side for turn number 8, then, then uh, bring the car back to the left hand side just around the 50 meters, that's your turning and break in point for the blind apex of turn number 9, and then the final corner of turn 10, and being sure to keep it within the limits, and that is a lap around the Red Bull Ring. We would recommend the one stop going from the soft compound tyres. You can go to the hards anytime from lap 9 onwards, and the mediums anytime from lap 14. If you can stretch the softs to this window, going to the mediums is the faster strategy, however it can be very challenging. The reverse strategy starting on one of the two harder compounds is also very powerful, so be sure to consider it if you are starting outside the top 10. Before we go, we would like to give you guys a few tips and tricks to help around this circuit. The track is one of the fastest on the calendar, with three DRS zones back to back. Staying within the one second gap of the car ahead is crucial around here. Be sure to keep this in mind during the race. Make sure to practice the track limits. Track limits have caused a number of issues in the past due to the abundance of fast flowing corners. It can be very easy to run slightly wide or use too much of the curbing and pick up a track limit warning, especially when pushing the car. Undercuts have shown to be very powerful in the past. Consider this if you are needing to break DRS or trying to get ahead of your rivals. Your best chances of making a pass are into turns 3 and 4. Overtaking can be easy at this circuit, However, DRS is extremely powerful, so we would stay to one of these two corners. If you're looking to overtake elsewhere, turns 1, 6, 7, and 9 are all viable options. Now a word from our partners Next Level Racing. Next Level Racing is your one-stop shop for comfortable and affordable sim rigs. If you're looking to take your sim racing experience to the next level, click the link in the description below and check out their range of rigs. They have options regardless of price point. Once again, we thank them in supporting us grow the sim racing community. That is all the time that we have for today. We hope you found this helpful and we will see you next week when we head to the Silverstone Circuit for the British Grand Prix.